went to bug out? Hmm. Okay. Interesting question. <coughs> Man. Okay, this is a a, a, um, a follow on, a carry on, an add on to the original my bug out failure. You are kind of working backwards, bugging out. Really is in essence a small part of our uh, of our uh, our greater emergency assistance plan, our what if plan, our whip, <coughs> our survival plan, our long term plan. It's always good to have a bug out plan in amongst all your plans. But what is a bug out plan? And better than we've looked at that but more of a, a question of well when do I bug out and when I do bug out what I need how do I need it and what I need to do so as you know from my first vid of my bug out failure I had all the gear ready to go I could live for 72 hours but I injured my knee and then I died so bugging out ain't that cool actually so it really is a last last resort so I've been looking at, uh, at different ways, different reasons, different like w when, when do we bug out? Good question in the prepper world. Yo, I'm, a, I'm not in a zombie apocalypse guy, but I like to have a plan and I love to run around the bush. And yo, if I had to bug out, my first thing would be to go to the bush. But it ain't as easy as it sounds. You know what I mean? And you can't go hunt animals, and you can't go live like a bushman, and you can't go live like they did in primitive man, because 95% of us will flack. Yeah? And even if you do survive, it ain't fun. It's actually hard work and it's quite cut. And talking from experience. Yeah? So, I went back, I looked at the Great Depression, uh, I looked at stuff, different wars yeah different uh d different things uh, I listen to all the american bug out pros and their bugging out vehicles and their apocalypse bunkers and their zombie cars and like all this stuff and then i started to follow a pattern and it kind of came from uh, i think the ukraine yugoslavia Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, that part of the world, the Eastern Bloc countries. And, and then I started to follow more and more and refugee popped up a lot. So then my question was, well, bugging out, hmm, what's the chances of being a refugee? Because maybe the most realistic idea of bugging out, of grabbing your stuff and is being a refugee. Because to me that makes sense. Excuse me. Why? Because I'm going to say this again. I was born in a country that no longer exists. I grew up in a country that is non-existent again. So that's my second country, and I'm, my son is growing up in a country that has more issues today than when I was his age. So for me, that's scary. So I've been down this road, yeah? I was very young when I went down this road, but I see, I see we are heading on a similar path. So would it, is it not only right that I think in a certain way, yeah? Just that thought. So what are the chances of being a refugee? And what is a refugee? Because this came to mind now. Yeah? So in 1951, they had the UN Refugee Convention. All right. I wrote this down, yeah, so that you can fact check my figures. Okay. So 1951, at the UN Refugee Convention, I don't know if it was the first one. I'm assuming it might have been. Um, the definition of refugee, so it possibly was the first one, 1951, the definition of refugee was written and it is the fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, 
nationality, a membership of a particular group or particular opinion, and is outside of the country of his nationality. Okay? Interesting. Can I read it again? A refugee is the fear of being persecuted. A person who has a fear of being persecuted for reason of race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular group or a particular political opinion and is outside their country of nationality. Okay. To date, as of May 2021, the 5th, 2021, to date, there are 79 million people with refugees, well, 79 million people yeah, with refugee status. Basically, 79 million refugees to date, right now, in the modern world. There are 79 million people that are refugees. So I just want to say, um, nationality, it is on my birth certificate, my ID, my passport, do, do, do. I'm Zimbabwean. However, no, I'm South African. I have a South African passport. Yes, so I'm actually in my country. But my country of birth is Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. situation on awareness because I'm the only oak talking and just now when I was looking around there were birds everywhere but I'm the loudest kid on this block all right chances of being a refugee hmm 79 million people to date are refugees what is the direct cause of being a refugee okay because now we have to look at the things the direct cause of refugees is war yeah so that's kind of what led me onto this. When there's a country is at war, there will be refugees. How many countries are at war? Do you not read about refugees day in and day out? Oaks escaping from Africa. I see there's a thing in Spain now. Spain has turned away 8,000 refugees. Imagine if you were one of those. Because why would we be a refugee? Yeah. So the biggest reason for refugees is war. Why? Because war is persecution, persecuting one, which is normally a war, eh? fighting one against another. So somebody who's losing has been persecuted. Yeah. And during war, there's social breakdown. Okay, very important. And this is why war, persecution and social breakdown. That's what happens in war. You know, right now, our country is in a low intensity conflict. We're in a low intensity war. What is that? Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, persecution and social breakdown. War also brings a lack of basic needs. Yeah, man. The water stops flowing, the electricity stops flowing, just takes one bomb to land in there, generate, then there's no electricity, no electricity, no running water. So those basic needs stop happening. All of a sudden, trucks don't want to supply the shops in a wall-torn area. All of a sudden, you can't get food. Do, do, do. Yeah? So you leave that area to go to another area where the shops are working. You can get petrol. Yeah? Buy something to eat. Oh, there's electricity in a hot shower. Oh, and nobody's shooting at me. Yeah, it's a good reason to leave. Isn't that bugging out? Isn't that part of your bug out plan? Do you have a bug out plan? I have a bob. My bug out bag. What's in your bug out bag? You know? Hmm. Good question. When the bullets are flying, there's social breakdown. You maybe you're being persecuted. Maybe you're not being persecuted. Maybe your neighbours are being persecuted. But because you live in the same area, you're kind of guilty by association. <gasps> you know, there's lacks of basic needs. The water's not running. The toilets aren't working. The shops have no food. Mm. Yeah, would you not bug out? I think so. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What if it's got nothing to do with that? What if there's a massive volcano that pops up in your area? Did you not hear like uh, in Central Africa, it was a Ghana? I think, 
oh, God, I don't know. It was it Ghana or the Congo where they had that volcano? That's like thousands of kilometers of land. They're just destroyed by molten lava. A whole area, a whole, a, a whole section of the, the country had to be evacuated. It stopped just outside the town. How amazing. Who would have thought in today's age? <laughs> but if you were in that area, would you not be bugging out? Yeah. Hmm. So, war lack of basic needs and environment you know the three main things that kind of direct causes of, of, of people becoming refugees in my head that would be part of my getting out a dodge plan no is it why would I be stockpiling food and have a plan because maybe a war's coming maybe Maybe uh, I'm stockpiling uh, food and water because I'm worried that yeah, there's an earthquake coming. Yeah, the dam's going to break from all the rain. Yeah, we do know because in the Bible it says uh, God said that He would not send another flood. So we do know that we are not getting a flood, but we could get something else. What about the locusts? Yeah, food shortage, supply and demand, our transport buses and trucks are being blown up, set to light. Alright, chances of being a refugee, mm -mm -mm. looks quite similar to bugging out. Eh? So maybe our bug out bag is just a refugee bag. Have you seen refugees traveling? You see how they just carry a little bag and they a rolled up mattress and the kids and you know, refugees can only take what they can carry. What is the end point of a refugee? Well, when is a refugee not a refugee? And like, what is their point? What is the point of refugees? Because I don't know. So we can only look at, at what's going on now, eh? You know, we, uh, what we can experience. So this is the closest we have to bugging out, in my head. What's happening with all the people at the borders of America? Now, I don't want to get into it. It's not my place. I believe they shouldn't be there. And I think that the last president was spot on, build a wall, chase him away. Um, we have the same problem here, but our borders are open to all people of African descent. You know, throughout the borders, Mr. Nelson Mandela opened our borders to the whole of Africa. And uh, that has come with many problems, and one of the reasons why we have massive unemployment. Okay, so the end point for the majority of refugees is camps relying on world aid. Hmm. So the majority of the 79 million people today, yeah, the majority of them are in camps, relying on world aid, relying on the aid of everybody else. Very few of those people ever get documented or rehomed. Okay. So this was a kicker that I found like, interesting because the question is, when do you bug out? So maybe... And I don't know the answer. Maybe I'm going to ask another question. Maybe you bug out sooner rather than later. According to this, yeah, according to my homework on refugees, very few get documented or rehomed, number one. Yeah? Mostly, those that do get rehomed or documented are mostly in the first group. Why? Because as the numbers start to swell, so countries start to tighten access. Can I read that again? Okay, so the majority of refugees end up in camps you know, that are relying, that are reliant on world aid, on aid from everybody else around them. You know? And there must be some horrid stuff that happened in camps. Actually, I know. You know? We're not getting into that. Cool. Very few refugees, the 79 million right now, very few of them get documented and even less get rehomed. Yeah, this is what is said, not what I'm saying. And of those that do get rehomed and documented, that generally they're in the first group or the first groups when the numbers are small, trickle, 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 trickle. Yeah, as soon as the numbers start to increase, Countries tighten their access. So if you're the 
six thousandth refugee into a country, the chances are you're the six thousandth refugee or the five thousandth and nine hundred ninety eighth refugee into a camp. Reliant on aid. Sub Sahara Africa, Sub Sahara, Northern Africa, yeah, not Southern Africa, North Africa has 26% of the world refugee population. Nearly a third of the world's population, refugee population, is north of our border. All interesting. So then I ask going even further, what if I'm a refugee? Because it's possible. Where do I go? Probably north. Not really, but anyway, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just questioning, eh? When to bug out? Who knows? What are the chances of being a refugee? Mm -hmm. You bug out, you're a refugee. That makes sense to me. Yeah. What is the biggest immediate issue for a refugee? Because it's all well and good to plan around what I've just spoken about. It's all well and good to, to have a bit of an idea of a, of a, a real-life situation of bugging out and being a refugee. Because the moment you bug out, you're kind of reliant on outside forces. Okay, cool. So what is one of the immediate issues of being for refugees, being a refugee? And the biggest one that came out was theft, of course, but by those that are in power. Yeah? Theft by those that have power over you, whoever it may be. The government of the country you are moving through or you are escaping from, the people of the country you are escaping from, the people of the country you are going into. The powers of the country you are going into, the government, the police, the army, whoever. Anybody of any power over you as a refugee. <laughs> yeah, the biggest immediate issue for all refugees were theft by those in power and they lost all their valuables. Sure, I've chatted for 17 minutes over this. Can you believe this? Okay, so there are two points that have come out of this, man. Yeah? A bug out bag, we all want to plan a bug out bag. I'm the first day. I have a grab bag. My family's had grab bags from since 2012. And Mr. Sean, you know, you are, budge. You were the, you put it in cool perspective. And ever since that day, my family's had a grab bag. You yeah? know, for 100 reasons. And none of them are what you think they are. Okay, maybe. Um, but with this knowledge that I've just written, the biggest immediate issue for a refugee eh, is theft by those in power and theft of everything of value. Is it worth having a bug out bag? Is it worth having a go bag? Hmm. So, more questions than answers, I suppose. You, know? you own what you carry when you bug out. You own what you carry when you become a refugee. Most refugees get to an end destination and they don't actually have anything that they started out with. So they have less at that destination. And then they are stuck in a situation which can become quite hopeless. And then there is no way out of it. Rent to bug out. Mm -mm -mm. Maybe never. Hmm. Never is a quite a strong word. When to bug out? Uh -uh. Maybe when where you are is not sustainable anymore. That could work. Yeah. Maybe it's not to ask when to bug out. Because maybe uh, it's too late for me and my family to bug out of this country and immigrate to another country. Yeah? Because there's enough people doing it already, the countries don't want any more South Africans. So maybe it's too late for that. Maybe I should get in a car and drive to another country and go, ah, oh, but I don't really want to leave here because this is my country. You know? So that's not really on the card. So, you know, w what is that story? But these are... Oh questions to ask when to bug out hmm maybe if you do want to bug out maybe if you do want to bug out you need to have a plan 
which allows you to be self-sufficient so that if you bug out you don't have to talk to anybody see anybody or deal with anybody and if you can bug out without being a refugee you know, and be sustainable for the long term well then you're winning anyway what are the chances of being a refugee hmm. probably the moment you bug out you become a refugee I don't know what do you think Bundy bears out <laughs>